like how, like how you used to call your kids down to play na yeah. Peeta aunty 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 come down aunty aunty akash aayega acha akash jio ka cable lekar raha all right do but that, like i mean that's imagine the equivalent for akash ambani and like for playing with kids right when he's like Must bhai ground kharidega <laughs> <laughs> he's busy today he's busy today he can't come today <laughs> aunty tell him we're going ha huh? <laughs> is that going to be the new measure now okay of units ki how many sunny devils of force yeah. can this wo- <laughs> like we're not talking about kilo joules and all anymore we want sunny devils <laughs> sunny deols the new thing. tesla is uh, three horsepower and nine sunny ds <laughs> <laughs> that's the best yeah. <laughs> yeah, sunny day. you know this yeah. is actually a pretty good case for this nft situation because then nobody can steal that oh wow dude yeah the, the all awards are now nfts, NFTs oh yeah. my god and then somebody's like i got the jpeg of it <laughs> i'm oscar yeah, so, okay yeah. so you do you <laughs> yeah meaning that they would just give them a it's like an e visa you just no, get it's like, like i still don't fully understand <laughs> 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 it's the most the greatest it's like an e visa is it an e visa yeah they <laughs> look at your eyes uh, uh, singapore come come yeah, yeah it's like that uh, so there's like a thing like if you're outside that ring that is closing in then basically you're killed so you have to, you're forced to be in there and then you're forced to engage with other people so it's like a very violent maldives <laughs> <laughs> Like imagine if you went it's there. It's basically you know, instead of a resort and those insta <laughs> things where people yeah. give yeah. you the jump into the yeah. blue water. As a patriot, I would say run. a very violent yeah. Lakshadweep would correct. be preferable. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. At a minimum, yeah. <laughs> correct. If you work in a place, right? Like say we work for LIC, you can't go around saying I want to burn down this building. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And yeah. then the insurance will kick in. <laughs> 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 like employee of the year so you to building jala diya hello and welcome to this unnamed show it was called three drinks later but uh, very few people want to drink but we have drinks today Whoops, this is do. not bad Just coffee and chai yeah. and yes. lemon tea correct wow. yes going with specific designations of how much caffeine we need in the morning yeah. correct uh, <laughs> so this is so technically this show is three drinks later and i have two luminaries of indian comedy um how do you uh, like how do you think what do you think do you th- consider yourself a luminary of indian comedy i am happy with the number of syllables in that word yes <laughs> <laughs> what about you one you know yeah. I, years ago i had once seen the because you like cricket there yeah. was that cricketer anshuman gaikwad yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. right so he had played a lot of games <laughs> and there were some luminaries bachcha uh, sorry uh, tendulkar was there you know yuvraj singh was there Hilarious gavaskar was there confused bachchan with tendulkar because you're like some high status person <laughs> yeah, yeah, in, the, yeah. in their field yeah yeah <laughs> same level of person <laughs> yeah. i get confused some famous person yeah. so they were introducing all the great cricketers right so this is and then they ran out of thing and then they said you know and ashwat guy quad what could we say about him he's been here always <laughs> so i feel like that's my role in indian government just, i just, was there he was there <laughs> here always he's yeah he's been there you know he's just been around <laughs> i think every cricket stadium there's one you know how they write that ram loves <laughs> this thing is like anshuman was here <laughs> yeah that's me that's if there was ever a plinth to indian comedy you yeah. know all the greats you know whatever all the big names up and down you know kamra will come yeah, you yeah. know abhishek kumar <laughs> I'm just going to <laughs> yeah I think I think if I'd be there that RK Lakshman the common man I'd just yeah. be there through every decade of Indian comedy I'll be in my dhoti <laughs> just standing looking, just right. standing right. looking it, it, seeing it, what happened here and it actually goes like uh, Anubhav Pal is the Anshuman Gaikwad of Indian comedy <laughs> it actually fits quite nicely <laughs> right because you've achieved a, a reasonable amount but yeah it's not like you're that famous right yeah. exactly I'm just yeah. here <laughs> and you've coached many people with varying degrees of success <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah varying is the key yeah. word coach is also a key word <laughs> i don't know if i've done that i think yeah no but kunal kamra considers you one of his uh, unofficial mentors but he also considers uh, varun rova is official mentor who is actually a successful person right yeah. so you know so i mean he i think balances his thing yeah. between someone who's done well to someone nobody knows so i think he just he has a spectrum of mentors now there is anuva pal is varun govar and then there's osho like this <laughs> the jump correct. is very high correct. then there's karl marx also correct correct correct, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. correct so he's got all the spectrum covered so he's covers me in the someone obscure no you got to throw in an obscure yeah, yeah, na yeah. like you yeah. know i learned from this check philosopher 
you know, <laughs> Ufta Vrpiansky. You're like, who's Ufta Vrpiansky? I'm that guy. Yeah, yeah. You're like the inspiration for, for Q1 of 2024. Yeah. 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 Then Q2, it's Harun Grover. Because Grover, everyone knows. You yeah. know, they yeah. like, oh, Grover, of course. But also, you have to, in an interview or when they're talking to somebody and you'd say XYZ name, then the person's like, who? You're like, you don't know <laughs> Anuva Pal. And then yeah. you feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. So I'm, I'm the Kaiser <laughs> Soze of comedy. <laughs> <laughs> Does he even exist? Does you, he even, you are never the Kaiser seen Soze a, of comedy. <laughs> no one's ever seen a show of his. Is he alive? Is he who is he? He's nine women. No one knows. <laughs> Anuma Pal is the Anshuman Gaikwad and Kaiser Soze of Indian comedy. Yeah, it's yeah. very specific <laughs> thing that you figured out. It's niche. Yeah. Niche Venn diagram. You know? It's very like you have to watch like ESPN and Discovery Channel <laughs> to know. Yeah. To merge these two. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So let's. Uh, this a lot of really fun things that have been happening in the last uh, couple of weeks and we're going to cover some of the topical topics that have uh, topicked across the world. Mm. Um, one of my favorite stories was this that um, uh, eight months on a pigeon suspected of flying <laughs> Uh, of us flying. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 Fucking, I thought you were ground based. You, you told me you were emu. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Pidget just spent years shooting on a balcony in Bangalore. Yeah. 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 No, but that is the thing. Like, if like in the UK, you know, the pigeons, they just walk. They're just like right, people. Right. Wow. Yeah. You try to kick them away also, they're like, sorry, sir, I, shall, I shall walk that way. <laughs> yeah. I've never that Trafalgar Square, right? Yeah. There no pigeons fly anywhere. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. But Although, if you remember the famous Shah Rukh Khan film, Dilwale. Yeah. It was Dilwale, right? Which was the big Adi Chopra film. That was Dilwale. Dilwale, right? Dilwale Dulhenia Le Jayenge. The big one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it begins with the f- uh, Amrish Puri <laughs> yeah. feeding pigeons. Yeah. Ah. As the only guy who made them fly in that shot. <laughs> he just, he yeah. runs around. But that was, those were Indian pigeons. They, were yeah. they took them yeah. from yeah. here. Yeah, they took them. Yeah. Cheap <laughs> junior <laughs> artists. Yeah, yeah, Cheaper. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they have to pay union rates for pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't want to be UK <laughs> pigeon. Just, just imagine all the pigeons that is going like, are you coming from the Kabutar Malam, Trafalgar Square? Mein <laughs> yeah, the British pigeons are these fucking Indian pigeons coming, stealing our jobs, <laughs> yeah. shitting all over our squares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, and the Indian pigeons will be like, what hotel is this? What is this third rate hotel? This is Shah Rukh, Central London. I have to send the seed in set food. I have to give it to bread. De rahe. <laughs> Which is processed seeds. <laughs> <laughs> He'd have huge issues. Yeah. So anyway, a pigeon was accused of spying. Is the story, and mm. it was it was uh, not arrested but detained mm. for eight months in a hospital. Yes. Yeah. Great story. Eight months. Uh, yeah. Mm. And what they found was that they found some inscriptions written in, and they just said loosely Chinese. And I'm yeah. like, a Chinese-looking <laughs> script, which is an yeah. entire most of Asia. <laughs> if you look at it, yeah. 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 these variations of that script. Yeah. But so, so from the images that I saw, it was the first of all, my thing was that it was written on the like the message, whatever it was, was scrawled on the wings of the pigeon. Yeah. Which again, like just logistically speaking, <laughs> if you are sending a message via a pigeon, just for the ease of reading, would you not want to tie the message to the like open the message on a piece of paper rather than opening the pigeon <laughs> 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 like a newspaper to read it? So next page, pick it. <laughs> You're on the train and there's multiple people. This guy reading a pigeon. He's like, just flicking feathers. <laughs> there's a dude who's holding a hawk and he's like, I'm not going to I'm advanced. This is Indian Express. I'm intellectual. I'm intellectual. I'm a pigeon of courage. I'm going to go to the owl lounge. Nighttime reading. Owl is the mint lounge. <laughs> <laughs> Saturdays <laughs> above everything. Yeah. All Gen Z viewers have no idea what any of yeah. this means. Yeah. Like, man, dude, nobody reads newspapers anymore or watches. Like, I was Not thinking, the, thing. who watches news channels? People still watch news channels, which is fascinating to me. Our newspaper guy stopped asking for money. <laughs> yes. You know, he's. I don't know what his business model is now because yeah. he said, Sir Raklo. I think it's like Facebook. He thinks he gives it to enough people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll have some value. Yeah. Yeah. Like I have a bit about this as well. <laughs> I yeah. just put it out. Like, but basically, I think once you reach a certain age, they just start leaving Times of India. Outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nobody's yeah. paying the bill. Nobody yeah. knows. Yeah. yeah. And it's printing on its own also. <laughs> I don't think the gens have any interest. I think that's what AI has actually been hired for. Just print the news print on your own, Times deliver it. Yeah. F- figure out anybody who turned 40 and then just yeah. deliver just random. Th- I, that's, I think that's how we get it. We haven't paid for years, I don't think. My wife is like, uh, the other day she was very, she's like, hey, uh, you know, if you stop reading the newspaper, I said, yeah, I've not ha- read the newspaper in a couple of months. 
and she like it's just start again i said why she like because i need something to put uh, my <laughs> stuff in <laughs> i was like yeah i think that's the new purpose that's, yeah, that's <laughs> so yeah. uh, kunal var kapoor <laughs> who i do a podcast with uh, he buys newspapers because the resale value yeah of the pe- he's the kabadi wala gives you a lot right. for certain papers so the resale is much more than the knowledge is oh i need to use this because my guy comes ki sir itna sirf aap newspaper de rahe ho and then we just takes it for free and we're like we're happy to just like you know yeah, free yeah. up the space oh, which is fine it's yeah. like i mean he's going to give me like 30 bucks for it he's like which yeah, is, i can get the... 10 more newspapers so that we... <laughs> <laughs> no not at current rates on sunday no on sunday you can we get like three like okay, the economic fair. times on sunday is like 12 bucks i remember yeah that's yeah, a proper yeah yeah, yeah, yeah correct yeah. i think if you change the color of the paper yeah like to make it a finance paper ish color yeah and you want to people pay anything yeah yeah, yeah. it's and the just, color thing and you could write anything on it you know it just doesn't have to be fine yeah, i think they can just target it like little purple and pink types for like younger crowd yeah 14 mm-hmm. rupees yeah. and you need some <laughs> acronyms for those finance papers like nifty says to boof p <laughs> if p down <laughs> like just words <laughs> with acronyms you know just like wrote down there like this finance paper you know like you just, just add a hashtag i think hashtag nifty if you put yeah, yeah just, like just what is this trending <laughs> stock yeah just words <laughs> it just uh, it just ima- like uh, doing a parody newspaper just like and you leave it at people's doorsteps it's great yeah. Yeah. yeah and it's just the time of india and it's all based on <laughs> different herbs that you can consume <laughs> while reading the newspaper times of india <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah. I have a supplement called the Times of India. Yeah. I do see the thing. I would I would ask a newspaper company to print it, but I don't think they have the budget for a sense no. of humor at this point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct, correct. <laughs> I don't have the budget for a sense of humor. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Great yeah. idea. That's so yeah, this pigeon line. story. Yeah. Uh, uh, so uh-huh. pigeon. Ka, so I had one question, which yeah. is that they kept it for eight months, right. which means obviously then they were feeding the pigeon also for eight yeah. months. So when you compare now pigeon and kasab who was fed for longer like how long was kasab in custody i wanted to know like has this pigeon been kept longer than he was yeah yeah and also did it had de- demands for specific Biryani, food correct, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so also my larger question is this fundamental thing of how do you get the pigeons to go where you want like where they yeah, were because yeah, yeah. they seem like very stupid creatures yeah like because they can't get out like they they come into my house they can't figure out how to fly out so how are you training these pigeons to be spies is my larger question like so uh, ira mukhoti the historian has a, had a great book on akbar which i highly recommend it's excellent mm-hmm. book and they tell you in mughal times wrong messages go to wrong people all the time because Pigeon, it just seems random at this pigeon, point exactly. you just Absolutely. find a pigeon with a message you're like it must be for me yeah, <laughs> yeah. and What's espionage messages would yeah. go to random houses <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, so know, just like, you are a spy by mistake now <laughs> who the fuck is Akbar? oh he's the emperor yeah your wife Why is cheating want... on you what the fuck shit because it's you can't rely on you know yeah. it's sort yeah. of like it is a bird it yeah and wherever they Because they're all going to fly to Afghanistan give Nadir Shah this message that's a lot of it's just a lot of pressure you know Just, I don't. I wouldn't rely on wild animals for, <laughs> yeah. for messaging. Yeah. And, and they, I don't think, they, but they tried hawks as well, right? They tried hawks and eagles and all that stuff they as well. Lots, lots of stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like, there science has come so far at this point. Like, can you not just make a drone that looks like a pigeon? Yeah, yeah. And and also, there's like so much. Like, you're, you have your dark web and all that shit going on. Yeah, I mean, why are you still sending? Why are you writing on a pigeon? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is it not easier to like hire one IT guy to be like little dark web based? And it's one not message. incognito. It's the opposite of incognito. <laughs> yeah, right. Because yeah. The, your whole idea is you want the bird to be in yeah. disguise with other birds you can't see. Yeah, it. right. But there's a massive bird with writing on it. <laughs> you know, like everyone's going to be like. Why is there a massive it's laptop? A very, it's a very niche thing board. of like we don't mind you reading the message, but you just can't know where it's come from. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and also where it's come from is the key. Yeah, yeah. And what would the message be? Attack now! <laughs> what is like? Yeah, what, what is so secret? You know? Yeah. It's like Hyundai Creta <laughs> costs this much. <laughs> <laughs> After monthly MI EV, like, what is <laughs> invest in TikTok on twenty sixth March? That's yeah, what correct, for, yeah. correct. Yeah. Some nonsense like that. But I also, mean. like the fact that it's written on the wings means that some person who's a pigeon trainer or whatever would have told the pigeon that, hey, just I need you to fly, but don't spread your wings <laughs> because yeah. then people will. And he was like, can I get a flight to <laughs> London? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And imagine that poor pigeon also. You know, it's it's an Indian pigeon. It's seen a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. People Literally. punched it in the <laughs> face. Whatever. It's seen life. Yeah. And he's like, imagine when he sprawled across. He's like, this I've not seen. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck is this? 
plumbing <laughs> no, you for like as a piece of paper. <laughs> he's going to go the out Indians now after crazy. eight months in prison and going to meet all his like pigeon friends and they're going to be like, oh fuck, pigeon, he's got hardened, he's got tattoos and all <laughs> after yeah. being in prison. Yeah. yeah, he'll be a Latin American <laughs> drug <laughs> pigeon. And he'll be, he'll be again, they're like, hey, what does your tattoo say? It's like, it's in Chinese, I don't know. <laughs> and he'll be like every human being. Now he has to fly yeah. to China. Yeah. <laughs> to find out what he is doing. Where he yeah. gets shot down. <laughs> Devi. Whatever, you know, like David Beckham. So it's like that. Yeah. Also, imagine the investigative officer, that guy. Yeah. What, what, like, this must, this can't be like, a, he must have done some shit, you know? Yeah. The investigative officer must have stolen someone. You go in this unit. You go in this unit. You go in investigative unit. Like, that guy must be like, fuck my life, man. Like, just, I mean, there's some guy doing crime, pigeon. ED. Uh, last week, someone sent a bill on the bill. This is the department of things written on animals. Yeah. Espionage. Yeah. He sent it to Shailesh. He's an expert. He sent it last week. He sent a secret to Rabbit. He sent a J.K. Rowling's book on the dog. He sent it to him. 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 Just imagine you're in a traffic signal. He's like, like, sir, Harry Potter. He's just a dog. He gives you a dog. Harry Potter and the prisoner of Alsatian. But yeah, that's, a, that's a, such a bizarre story, dude. Um, another story which uh, which I thought was uh, was uh, I was crazy about this uh, this uh, eleven year old kid who disappeared oh, from yeah. uh, his house and then uh, he comes back like I think now after whatever 15, 20 years, and they said that uh, it's a he's a monk. And they're all crying and our uh, family's like, oh my God, reunited with an 11-year-old son who had uh, disappeared for a long time. And then obviously it turned out to be a scam. Yeah, this is the, the monk who stole his Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> who stole, yeah. Itself. And the guy's name is uh, uh, is Nafis and his brother and him have been running this scam apparently yeah. for years. And his brother successfully did this where the, the scam is that they go to people, they, they basically search for people who lost yeah. young uh, 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 children and they show up after 12 years or whatever, say, hey, I'm the young child. And it worked for this other guy where he went to a family and he said, I'm part of this month. And if you want me to not be part of this month, you have to give me 11 lakh rupees. Yeah. There so was a like Downton Abbey episode like this. Do you remember? Really? Oh, yeah. I haven't watched much of it. Guy comes back, he's, he's from the war. His face is like just distorted enough from shrapnel. So you can't tell what he looks like. And he says, I am so-and-so of this family. This is my bloodline. This and like I that show that came out recently, no? which is the uh, Killer Soup. Oh, the so Manoj Vajpayee. Yeah, yeah. Manoj Vajpayee. Yeah, I mean, uh, that's the roughly the starting <laughs> point of the story. But the, the thing with this guy is so that this guy ran away at, from home at the age of 11, the or original boy. Yeah. <laughs> and then they're like, after 11 years, he's come back as a monk. I think the suspicion should have been raised before only because if you look at the reason why he ran away from home, is that because he was being scolded for playing too much. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. So he was being scolded for playing too much, which is again where the, like, do you think that this guy who ran away from home because I'm not willing to play suddenly is coming back as disciplined monk? Yeah. Like the character switch does not fit at all. No, like if he came back as one full gangster, like, yo, yo, I'm like yeah. one cool rock star it's person. It's been me, Vikas Dube all yeah. along. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, and also 11, you'll remember your child. You know, unless you're really dumb parents, yeah. Yeah. you'll remember, say an 11-year-old comes out, 24-year-old, some broad characteristics you'll remember. It's like, imagine if an infant walks out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Or maybe that was the problem, that he was playing so yeah. much all the time that the parents had actually forgotten what he looked like. Yeah, yeah. And that was, was the thing, we don't know what you look like, just come home and you're like, <laughs> yeah, Just so we can see your face. <laughs> yeah. Just so that in case face. you get lost and come back so 12 years later. He was never home anyway. <laughs> like, he yeah. was yeah. gone. Yeah. That, that's, yeah. Was, so was he even missed? Yeah, dude, there was another story of this kid. I don't know if you follow the story of this kid who uh, just disappeared from Bangalore ran randomly. Okay. And then they tra they put out uh, like whatever that look out for this kid everywhere. And mm. they found him in some other place near Bangalore and some bus. Mm. And he was apparently leaving saying my parents didn't let me play PUBG. So one lady finds him and then she starts recording a video of her scolding this kid. And I'm like, this is such an Indian thing to do, <laughs> where not only have you found the child, but you have to prove to the child that I'm the adult, and yeah. what you've done is wrong for X reasons. And you need documentary proof. So the kid is just like being screamed at. Being Say sorry to your parents. <laughs> <coughs> He's like, why did I run away from home? The outside parents are worse. You know, other parents are shit parents. Yeah. 
And also They you can play PUBG just at home only, you know, you don't have to run yeah. away to play PUBG. You can just <laughs> In fact, better, you got a TV. Yeah, here well. he's going and playing real life PUBG, he's like actually being parachuted somewhere. <laughs> No, but I'm sure like as a kid, right? Like, I mean, when you, when you play all these games, one part of you thinks that I'll also subconsciously become this person. And let's go out in the world and see. Like, let But not in PUBG, because PUBG, you start as one naked character <laughs> in underwear. I mean, I don't think any child is like, I'm going to find a first AK-47. So it sounds the, again like the plot of Animal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything in life is the plot of Animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, I have never played a first shooter game. Right. Like, as in, I don't know what these are. I know they're very popular. Hmm. So in PUBG, you start out as... So PUBG, the point is that it's a multiplayer battle royale game. Okay, so there's like a giant island where a hundred people are parachuted. Like you're on, you start on a plane and that plane is flying across the island. You can choose where on the island you want to drop down. Okay, and it's a free for all. Everybody starts with nothing and there's like ammunition and guns and all the shit scattered across you the island. You accumulate as you, you go. You accumulate. It's like you're foraging. But as this is happening, there's like a circle around the island which is closing in. So you have to keep, it keeps pushing everybody closer and closer together. It's like a, that's why it's called Battle Royale. So you're forced as the, like as the 30 minutes or however long the map is, to get closer and closer if you're so not... So the geography itself is closing in. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So there's like a thing, like if you're outside that ring that is closing in, then basically you're killed. So you have to, you're forced to be in there and then you're forced to engage with other people. So it's like a very violent Maldives. <laughs> 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 like imagine if you went it's there. It's basically... You know, instead of a resort <laughs> and those Insta <laughs> things where people yeah. give yeah. you the jump into the yeah. blue water. As a patriot, give you a machine I would say gun. a very violent yeah. Lakshadweep would correct. be preferable. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, correct, correct. <laughs> At a minimum, <laughs> yeah. Correct. <laughs> But, but you've never tried playing any of these games. It's very entertaining. Dude. I know I suck at it, but it was very entertaining when I played it for like a couple of months. I played FIFA in a friend's house, etc. Yeah. It's hard it's to cultivate that hand-eye coordination beyond if you've not been doing it since you were a kid. Yeah. Also, if I'm self-employed, and I'm like we all are, and I start playing a video game in the morning, I feel like that's why I almost feel at 40, I'm 47. Yeah. So if I start playing a video game more, I almost want my mother to be like, what are you doing with your life? You know, like I'm just, I just feel like at this age, yeah. I should at least sit in front of a laptop. It'd be great if that's the story in the news. 47 year old boy yeah. <laughs> escapes from parents yeah. for not being allowed to play PUBG. Yeah. Returns at 65. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As ascetic monk. Yeah. Yeah. Ask yeah. parents for 11 lakh rupees. I think, I, look, man, I think in my life at this stage, my wife, my parents would be very happy if I left as a monk. They'd <laughs> <laughs> be like, just we'll recognize you. What if I don't come back till I'm 75? Don't come back. <laughs> don't okay. return. Okay. We, we've seen what yeah, you just can you, do. You just pay the rent. And you do pay whatever. <laughs> don't you just leave the FDs. You don't even pay the rent. Just go. And leave go. the FDs. Be here. But they'll want your passwords and everything. Yeah, yeah. They all that. Act, they'll like full yeah. bank access we need before you leave. Just that's all. Whatever value need. you had to add, you've added. Yeah. 47. What more will you do? Three more years. <laughs> You have left. That's yeah. it. And then after that, you have to become a building society uncle anyway. Yeah. Correct, correct. Yeah, You're yeah. there anyway. Yeah. So you might as well just save the shame, yeah. be a monk. Yeah, yeah. I, love, I love young people who get into building societies. I, I would totally get into it. Like at, at like 38, I think I'll be ready. Oh my to God. Like run a society. I, I was uh, in my building. So I loved it for 10 years. I you mean, we've sold that flat now, but in just around the corner from here. I, I really enjoyed it. I had the slippers and everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And when they would get into like, the thing is that if you are a liberal, cosmopolitan, godless sort of person, yeah. you know, the only thing you're fighting over is like, should single women be yeah. allowed to stay in this? And obviously you are on the side of the yeah. thing. Yeah. But then I'm like, I'm not having any fun yeah. because these are my political values and I'm defending them. It'd yeah. be far more fun if they were the opposite to my political values, yeah, you know, yeah. like, what single boy living alone, <laughs> you know, does not, has not expressed what religion he's from, you know, don't no, Or you him. should be the opposite, Keith. these single boys are not partying enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Going there, I think that's the thing. That's I should be militant. You, you have house party today. <laughs> yeah. Today I want yeah, house party, I otherwise you're out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but like this happens in my in my building terrace, which is the place where weird things happen. I'll be, I'll be just walking around like a old person and there'll be smells coming from somewhere. And you just gravitate towards smells because you're like, why yeah. do that? And then there'll be these young people and they'll be like, eh? yeah, and they'll be like, I got caught. I'm like, dude, they're <laughs> like, I'm not. Oh, they think you're the uncle. Yeah. And I'm like, it's, it's okay, man. Do your shit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what do I get? I want to be, it's very hard to be the uncle. Uh, yeah, that, this is a good, this is a good idea. Like yeah. I can become militant. Yeah. LGBTQ, <laughs> 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 you know, like LGBTQ. LGBTQ. <laughs> 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 
That's very clever, actually. Yeah. Using that last I think now both of you have to decide no, so, who's going to use this. No, so that was so, no. So I have that joke. So yeah. my joke is that the the LGBT acronym that we have in India is very unfortunate because LGBTQIA, which is that ev- what every judgmental uncle says when they see a gay person, that he is LGBTQIA. It's a perfect Nazim joke. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, there's uh, other things also that's been happening. Uh, and by the way, we don't know what the updates on the story are with Virat Kohli. But apparently, uh, there's some, I don't know what's going on. AB De Villiers, no? Yeah, AB De Villiers revealed that uh, uh, Virat Kohli has basically not been playing this entire England Test Series. And uh, the assumption was that his mo- first, they said his mother's sick, then, they, then AB De Villiers in a YouTube live said he's expecting a child. So was he speculating, like maybe he's expecting a child or he just... I think he said it, it and then it spread like wildfire. I guess because they're very good friends. Yeah, like yeah. Those two are really good friends. Yeah. But I really love the thing where he went... I'm so sorry. Like at some point <laughs> yeah. he came and said, whatever I've said. <laughs> like, yeah. Did someone try to kill him? Like yeah. he lives a quiet life in South Africa. Yeah. ABTV is quite an achiever, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Was in the Navy, played some two, three professional Hockey, sports. Hockey, yeah, yeah. 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 So, and they are very good friends and the thing. So for someone that strong to turn around and say, please leave yeah, me yeah. alone. <laughs> but also it was like not just leave me alone but also like leave him alone like yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for like revealing anything maybe it was not like uh, public information or, but the the fun part I'll, I won't say the fun part but I think the reason why I prefer reading the newspaper is that the newspaper doesn't have a comment section <laughs> yeah, because yeah. you go to the and the comment sections of news websites are fucking amazing because on this AB De Villiers yeah. uh, story on Times of India I was reading some of the comments and it's great because there was like, uh, hold on, there was one uh, guy which said, too much fuss in India. Every second child is, b- every second a child is born. No big deal. Anyhow, it might turn out like Rohan Gavaskar. <laughs> <laughs> what, dude? <laughs> okay. <laughs> then there is another guy who's giving a theory, which by the way, this comment has six likes also. Saying, deficiency of garlic causes such blunder. Eat one kg raw garlic daily and get well soon. To which there is a reply from a guy who has clearly made an account for this purpose because it is titled Garlic Guru. (laughs) (laughs) Who has just left a a comment saying, okay. (laughs) (laughs) And as with everywhere else, there is one comment saying, can we sell Bitcoin, please (laughs) advice? (laughs) <laughs> but I, I like the garlic guru guy because like to give leave a comment on a on a on a news article yeah. is actually a lot of a work. A lot of work. Because yeah. it's not like just logging into Instagram. You have to create a separate account and verify your email yeah. just to say like okay. He has made garlic guru at gmail.com also. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he has a Google garlic alert. <laughs> <laughs> He's got that ready. He's like, where's garlic happening? <laughs> Ajay, it's happened here. <laughs> I've got a view uh, on this. And he just this is okay. <laughs> it's okay, this is fine. This Gali is like a Gali police. <laughs> but you know, this is a crazy country. And obviously, he is, he's almost deified, right? Yeah, like, yeah. So the moment someone said, you know, uh, say Virat Kohli is having a second child, <coughs> B.B. Devia says, you know, Indian hospitals can do crazy things, like clear a whole pediatric ward. Yeah. You know, they must have some small hospital somewhere must have said, yeah. Yeah, your child is not going to be here. I'm nine months pregnant. Nicklo, Virat Kohli is coming. Nicklo, you played the World Cup final? Mein Zero? Okay, get out. Yeah. So they've cleared out awards saying I, I. So yeah. you don't know what people have done. Na? Yeah. yeah. And also with this with the story, it's all conjecture, right? Now you know, like yeah. now now updates are coming that Anushka Sharma is not well or something is, and so um, nobody knows what's actually happening. But why should we? Know? I mean, it's, the yeah, point exactly. Is, like, why should their we know? Life, like, just, right. There are other people playing cricket who watch them, no? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like. But like uh, uh, this, and what I like, and I'm sure this happens in football as well, is that everything in Indian cricket is all about conjecture and people just making <coughs> random things. Yeah. So one of the biggest conjectures is that uh, uh, Jaspreet Bumrah uh, unfollowed Mumbai Indians on Instagram. Okay. And then everybody's uh, like figuring out what this implies. Hmm. Oh yeah, does he huge. hate Mumbai Indians? <laughs> Is he over it? Does he have a problem with Hardik Pandya? <laughs> then some yeah. people are like, saw them at a restaurant, separate tables, and <laughs> just okay. random <laughs> shit. <laughs> So I'm like, everything about Indian cricket is just conjecture. Yeah, in fact, now that you bring it up, like a couple of weeks ago, I was doing a show and Jasmi Bumra was at the airport lounge. Yeah. But uh, Mumbai Indians was not with him, so. Yeah, he wasn't, <laughs> yeah, correct. So I think if there's <laughs> a clear problem. separation. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. So wait, so Hardik Pandya, I'm a little slow at these things. Yeah. 
left Gujarat yes. where he was sort of mythologically sort of mm. led them into some heroism yeah. and clearly got more money and went over to the other team. You're such a good writer that like you use terms like <laughs> mythologically. mythologically. Oh my God, it's great. Yeah. No, no, but they say all these yeah. things yeah. 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 because <laughs> yeah. apparently like the team has a consortium of foreign owners. No one really knows Is who it? owns. I no idea. Some private equity funds own it or something. Just Gujarat things. I thought it's owned by Gujarat Aether things. or something. I thought Aether is the prime Aether sponsor. Aether is the sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't think it's yeah. like... Oh, prime sponsor. But it's yeah. owned by some Luxembourg-based right. fund. Oh, wow. It's some yeah. English. So, right. yeah. it's the Adanis don't actually own the Gujarat team. I thought that they're the owners, but, but Adanis got outbid by these guys. Right. Oh. So, anyway, he did all this and now clearly Bombay's paid him more. Yeah. And does that... There's no joke here. I'm just asking yeah. questions. No, he came, so no, he came back to Bombay yeah. and then he's got injured. No, and now he can't play the IPL. He probably can't play the IPL, but they claim that he's going to be ready for the IPL. And the BCCI loves uh, Hardik because they think he's the key to the success of them winning anything. And so they, they put out a dictate yesterday saying, Ishan Kishan and Shreya Sagar and all players who are not injured will mandatorily have to play the Ranji Trophy. So then people started asking, hey, what about Hardik Pandya? No. And they're like, Hardik Pandya is too uh, fragile and he just breaks, so it's <laughs> exempt for him. And they're like, but <laughs> that can't be. You can't say this is a yeah. blanket rule for everybody except one guy. I mean, like, that's but, yeah, but we've got, all been through the Indian school system, right? Yeah. Like favoritism is the basis yeah. of yeah. our, you yeah. know. Yeah. Like, yeah. and it, it, like I have people who, from school who live in Seattle. Right. Because mm. they emotionally couldn't deal with just being like somewhere. You're my favorite. Yeah. You are the worst. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like they, they left the country because of, yeah. like we've all grown up like that. Like they all say schools are fair yeah. and all. Like yeah. there'd be teachers saying, yeah, you are the worst child ever. <laughs> <laughs> that kid will never recover. He's yeah. like, Hardik yeah. Pandya is the favorite. Yeah, yeah, right, he's, yeah, because he's got the whole look and everything and those beautiful underwear ads. Oh yeah, Correct. with the full padding that they're doing. No, I like. I oh, did they put padding get, on? I mean, clearly it looks like because otherwise I'm very impressed. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe that's why everybody's yeah. impressed. They're like, he's our favorite. That's why Mumbai teams hot man. They're like, bye, come on. <laughs> he is the real titan. Yeah. In Calcutta, he sells. I, I don't. You guys have done that ride to the airport, right? You go through sort of new town in Calcutta, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you would have seen a lot of steel pipes. Yes, ads. TMT bars, all of that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. Also, he does. So yeah. earlier, that was Akshay Kumar had a lot of the mm. monopoly on. So you have to be seen as bending the bar, I think, as <laughs> just sort of. Yeah. Uh, so for cement, they use Sunny Deol. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the, an ad I recently saw, it's all over India actually, where they literally put his hand in cement. Who, Sunny Deol? Sunny Deol. And he's holding up his hand. And I think he had that line, that high kilo ka hath, whatever. Oh, they literally wow. took nice. it yeah. and put it in cement. So they've cemented this hand. Yeah, yeah. And he's saying, oh, this is this cement is as strong as my hand. But that's yeah. not bad. Dai kilo ka hath is, is, a, is a good reference for it. I still need cement stronger than his hand. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going to hold up a building. <laughs> so but but also, like the, the whole idea that that dialogue of Dai kilo ka hath, which you were so impressed by, I mean, honestly, I think doesn't everybody's hand weigh about Dai kilo? I have like not never severed it and checked <laughs> to be. What's the problem? How do you yeah. know that my hand is less heavy than Sunny Deol's like hand? Like, for example, I wouldn't buy cement if, uh, say, Azim was doing it. You know, yeah, no yeah. chance. Yeah. Had dipped his hand in cement. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think, is, said, that, is that going to be the new measure now okay, of units? Ki how many Sunny Deol's of force yeah. can this. Wo <laughs> like, <laughs> we're not talking about kilojoules and all anymore. We want Sunny Deol's. Sunny <laughs> Deol's. The, the new thing. Tesla is uh, three horsepower and nine Sunny D's. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sunny day. <laughs> the, the sound system has uh, three DJ Bobby D's. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also that the TMT uh, bars. Okay? So Hardi Pand is the yeah. new guy. He's but bending. But also, like the whole thing is that our bars will never bend. <laughs> <laughs> this celebrity, yeah, yeah. And you're like, except for this guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. because that's what, so that's why it's perfectly fit now. Because even for he is the only guy for which the rules are bending. Also. Yeah. <laughs> correct, 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 exactly. Yeah, uh, dude, correct, okay. Let's let's. Uh, there's a, and it also yeah. says continuing forever, right? Like the whole theme of that bar ad is it lasts forever. It's yeah. here forever. But this guy changes teams every yeah, two years. Teams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy It's like don't give it to a guy yeah. who has no loyalty. No. Yeah. Yeah, don't but also uh, in, in all of these situations, right? Like sometimes like I'll, uh, there'll be a story of somebody not being selected for the Indian team for whatever reason. Then I'll talk to cricketers and they're like, it's because of this. Like he's got a cocaine habit or he oh, wow. slaps somebody in a green room or some shit like that. It's always something else. But the uh, what I've heard it the most for is Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Like I don't know much about cricket selection, yeah. but every the, the constant story is why doesn't he ever get picked? Mm. Yeah, he seems like he has little, seems like a little finicky guy. 
yeah. yeah, yeah. Because, but also he said, no once in an interview, he said, I don't have any friends in the team. And I'm like, don't, don't just pretend don't you don't. That. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, and I love Ravi Chandran Ashwin. Yeah. He's literally one of my favorite cricketers. But I'm like, yeah, you don't say that in public. Just don't please. Yeah. Yeah. Just say Virat is my best friend. He doesn't know it. <laughs> He's the yeah. greatest. Yeah. If you work in a place, right? Like say we work for LIC. You can't go around saying, I want to burn down this building. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. And yeah. then the insurance will kick in. <laughs> 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 like employee of the year. So you don't believe that idea. Okay, there's another great story which I uh, which I, which I came up about this uh, this national award winner called Mani Kandan uh, who hmm. ha- who had his house burgled hmm. and then the thieves returned his national award saying, "We are sorry, brother. Your hard work is yours." Yeah. Now the only problem is that they kept the gold cash and jewelry. Yeah. But I'm like, that's also his hard work. Yeah. I think he pretty much worked for that. They're like, you use the medal, remember your talent and make more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's saying this will get you more money. Yeah. These things are temporary. Yeah. But they returned two medals. No? Like if I yeah. was them, I would have kept him hungry. I'd have returned one. <laughs> We're like, you want one more? Good yeah. movie you make. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll give you one more back. Yeah, the two like, But he'd be like, I've earned both the medals. You know, you got to earn it back. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah, earn, yeah. yeah You're getting too complacent, bro. <laughs> <laughs> make <laughs> film, make it too safe these days. Come Gre- on. Greatest yeah. film critic of all time. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's yeah. Like, <laughs> guys, yeah, he's probably got robbed by people who love his movies. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, how will I make another film? I have no house, I have no money. <laughs> so do you think these guys, w- the realization of should we return the thing, do you think that kicked in before, like, do you think they watched the movie for which he won the awards and then they were like, no, we should give the awards back? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or someone was like, Are bro, it, this is the guy who you robbed and at least give this back. Yeah, yeah. Or it'll be, it'll, I mean, the, the former sounds more fun. Yeah. Where they see the national award winner and they're like, let's see the movie yeah. and see if he deserves it, like you said. <laughs> and then they're like, he actually deserves this, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one medal. Yeah. <laughs> the critic is sort of Dude, there. imagine if it's like the for the for the movie whenever it re-releases, which they tend to do, right? Whatever the movie is, it re-releases, and one of the uh, critics' awards is I took the award back, Kamal Ar Khan. <laughs> like whoever the critic yeah. is saying, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I didn't deserve it. But uh, this returning awards is it? Maybe it was done by, you know, like you know, it's hard to get films watched now. So maybe he got his own house robbed. At least you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I actually like, this did cross my mind. You know, yeah. like at least someone be like, "Have you heard about a director? Yeah. What happened? And his house got stolen." Yeah, <laughs> what's the film? Well, let's watch. It. <laughs> I love how the house got stolen. Imagine yeah. they picked up the entire house and went, but just then left two awards. Arey, yeah, to ghar ta yeah. There's just eight acres and just two national awards in the center. <laughs> so Imagine he like, comes up on the shoot. This is like one of those. Wife, where's the house? <laughs> But the house is missing only. He's like, fuck it, you're drinking again, yaar. To <laughs> make some proper movies. It sounds like one of those Bihar news stories, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they're like, <laughs> the the Choro tunnel. ne g- g- <laughs> <laughs> chori kia <laughs> ghar. <laughs> Whole bridge and all. He'll call that police, but he's like, sorry, I'm busy with pigeons, I can't come. <laughs> Same guy society Same for guy. bridge stealing and for pigeon yeah. spy. Abhi tumko ghar mein bhej raha hai. Abhi pigeon ho gaya aapka. No, but also they returned the are. national award. I saw that and they returned the national award in polythene bags. And like, <laughs> just give some respect. Like at least return it in the cloth bag. Actually, that's the thing. Oscars, Golden Globes, none of them come with any money, right? It's just yeah. the thing. Also, don't come in box, I think. Yeah, they just yeah. hand it and they like, oh, yeah. yeah. deal with it. See, if you're some sound engineer, right? Yeah. And you win big, let's say, costume. You get it. It's okay in your industry. It's a big deal, but you still have to go out to work. You know, this yeah. is actually a pretty good case for this NFT situation because then nobody can steal that. Oh wow, dude! Yeah, the, the, all awards are now NFTs. NFTs oh yeah. my god! And then somebody's like, "I got the JPEG of it. <laughs> I'm Oscar yeah, winner." Okay, yeah. so you do you? <laughs> yeah. Meaning that they would just give them a, it's like an e-visa. You just no, get it's like, like, I still don't fully understand. <laughs> it's the most <laughs> the greatest it's like an of an visa. NFT is it's an e-visa. Yeah. They look at your eyes, you're like, oh, Singapore, come, come. Yeah. yeah, it's like that. Yeah, it's basically, I don't even know what NFT is, to be honest. I don't yeah. think anybody, the people who made it also aren't fully sure of what yeah, it is. Yeah. But it's, it's something. It's it's one of those uh, yeah it's it's just one of those things that never really took off right because everybody found the flaw in the plan which is that yeah, anybody yeah. could have this image yeah so but the thing nothing. is the moment say some fool at the height of NFTs would have paid for something can he find that artist and try to get his money back because they at some point the thing is you that put in the a old virtual days, reality headset and then find them and then yeah. start beating them up. <laughs> yeah yeah but some artists sell the NFTs they're living right this one New York artist I read about Indian mm-hmm. guy sold something for some 350,000 pounds, uh, dollars. Yeah. 
Now that guy is alive, right? And the whole thing is now fraudulent, and the people yeah. that paid are like, "She got jacked." I guess it's like a bad investment. You're supposed to <coughs> not, yeah. Yeah. but because you bought it from a person, like, can you threaten him, beat him up? In yeah. Picasso, you can't find. No, like you yeah. can't be like, "Are you sold me a?" It's a subjective thing, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. This was supposed to be high value, but it's. But so my counter to that is like, okay, let's see, you've done a corporate show and it didn't go off well. Right. I think they should be allowed to bash us up, <laughs> or Fuck. take the money back. What would you prefer? Oh, yeah. uh, the, uh, wedding. Yeah. I remember at I won't name a colleague. We were both doing a gig, uh, and it was a wedding, and he was supposed to do forty minutes, and he did thirty. We were both supposed to do forty each. Uh, I did forty. I think I talked for thirty. I realized that I won't get paid unless I do the full thing. Yeah, so yeah. I think the last ten minutes <laughs> talked. Mm. And then he just, it was going terribly. And he just said, hell with it. At 25, he got done. They tried to cut 15 minutes of his wow, money. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I would. I, and that, they did the, ma- they, they did should, the yeah. calculation yeah. also. Like, like, if it's not their fault that, the, yeah. like, the t- like they haven't opened the bar and all of that, and that's the reason why you're tanking, then, yeah, I mean, just yeah. do, do the job. Yeah, do the, unless the organizer themselves say, hey, you're yeah, done. Yeah. I'm like, dude, just keep. And exactly, this is the experience talking, right? Where it's like, I think all of us have been in this situation where I'm like, I need to hit that 40-minute yeah, mark. Yeah, I just need to power yeah. through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I also love gigs where everybody loved it, except the guy that hired yeah. you. <laughs> I've had gigs like that, where the guy that hires you, People are losing their minds, right? Just like, mm-hmm. yeah. And later you send him a thing saying thank you, etc. He doesn't respond. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, just only he disliked it. You know, yeah, like everyone around him. One, one guy was, I was, uh, he started to pitch me for a corporate show yesterday and he's like, dude, you're my favorite comedian. I'm like, I've got a call from you after seven years. <laughs> he's like, I've worked with 40 comedians. I'm like, in seven years? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> he's so favorite. He doesn't call you. He's like, I don't bother him. I love him so much. I don't give him any work. He needs a space to write more jokes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. There's a, there's a couple of other stories. Um, there was, um, are you any of both uh, following this, what's been happening in Pakistan with the Prime Ministership? Or I'm not? obsessed with Pakistani politics. Okay. So I love it. So what happened exactly? The, hmm. It was tied or what? So I think the military just decides. <laughs> so the reason you guys find out I about know, this, in Pakistan yeah. politics, the, 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 when it's a tie, the military is the super over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, and the military there sort of, you know, like I guess Imran Khan was good with the military for a long time. So they yeah. just literally go around because they don't come in the forefront. Yeah. They just go around picking whoever they want, the military. Wow, nice. They're like, Nawaz, Nawaz Sharif. You know, it's like a drunk uncle. Yeah, it's like, who will give us more hafta? It, it's just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah and, yeah, and yeah. basically the politicians have no power, right? It's just, and imagine politicians who try to do things. And so they're like, yeah, do whatever. We've got nuclear weapons. You do whatever you want, man. Because yeah, yeah. the generals are just sitting there with nuclear weapons. Yeah. And the ISI and those guys, they're incredible. Like, they don't come out in the open. But suddenly you may be a deposed uh, Pakistani prime minister when the Supreme Court has said you should be hung to death. Yeah. yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like that's your sentence. That's why you are absconding yeah. in London. Young and hung. You get a call, you say, yeah. you're the prime minister. <laughs> <It's fun. Yeah. laughs> just come. Also on a side note, do they ever do hung to not death? Like is there a... Yeah, just for fun. Just for like hung a little bit. <laughs> just yeah. to learn your lesson. <laughs> yeah, just hang for like Hung for 15 seconds. Yeah. Oh yeah, a minute would probably... In the happen. British Empire, lots of uh, hangings would go... So early revolutionaries, like in Calcutta, mm. guys who would try to throw bombs at the things of district magistrates, uh, they would try to hang them. And early days of hanging, they didn't have like proper executioners. Mm. So loads of people's ropes would tear no. with like injuries and stuff. And then they'd be like, yeah, nah, that's he fine. Let he's him learned his yeah, lesson yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, that's so a lot of that stuff would happen. <laughs> so a lot of revolutionaries going around going, I'm going to get that guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also like the, the, the assumption that if the, I assume, like, I assume this is the rule, right? Like if the rope breaks, your hanging is cancelled, right? I think so. There should but be. But how much pressure on the rope maker? He's <laughs> like, yeah. dude, this You're has to really be. really fat guy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so it's, it's just like on a technicality now, it's okay. You didn't get good enough rope. So now all my... Like I've been through the trauma of the pre-hanging, so now it's done. Is yeah, that, yeah. Is, that's what it is. It's, yeah, I mean, I assume, right? They should let you go. Like uh, the guillotine, Yeah. if you're going to get guillotine, there would be people, uh, you know, at least like Henry VIII's time, even Napoleon's time, but they'd ask for a particular executioner mm. because oh. he was smooth. Because the like last or thing maxi- you need or is like, like... Maximum two attempts you get. Like yeah. Otherwise, if I'm still not a, dead, I'm going. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the last thing you need is... A, exactly. <laughs> two, three... Two, I'm not happy only... <laughs> But imagine like people used to watch the executions. They used yeah, to watch yeah, yeah. like people being beheaded and shit. Dude, we watch WWE. 
yeah. in fact i fell into a random wwe rabbit hole yeah always four days ago yeah i was watching like rock versus triple h matches back in the day and i was just like people are just enjoying in huge numbers just these fuckers beating themselves yeah, up yeah. yeah it's the roman circus yeah. it's always yeah. been a yeah yeah always and the theater around. attached to it oh i'm coming and this guy's interfering and we've got one fake referee and then the owners are involved it was actually it's just like that same but also this man versus bear lion versus man yeah. it only stopped quite recently like I really mean, 67 yeah, they started years. doing it as part of regular society you know? yeah. <laughs> unfortunately and dude i love to see man versus bear and Ro- romans was... like uh, the roman circus was this only yeah three bears versus two slaves <laughs> oh my god <laughs> and obviously the slaves have no chance yeah yeah but no but i want to see somebody like like in mma you've trained to fight the lion Yeah. Like yeah, you yeah, spent yeah. your whole life you like you know what I could take a lion and then you like go on Joe yeah. Rogan and you're like hey yeah. I think you take this lion and yeah. the lion is like ah <laughs> this is the, the and you could be a lucky day the lion could not be interested yeah. you yeah. know you could because yeah. I think it's fair if the lion is also training yeah <laughs> like somebody should tell the lion also that bro tera bhi fight aa raha hai like come on start working out he's like nah man i just i wanted to be a comedian that's the thing <laughs> that's the comedian that's the thing right yeah. because the assumption always was the lion will be lion yeah. <laughs> you want to eat, yeah. how do we know they yeah. keep it hungry i guess yeah. they keep it hungry as the only yeah. thing yeah, yeah. but he still may not want to eat people yeah. in front of all these people it's <laughs> yeah, like, like yeah. just send me the food <laughs> in the room <laughs> send me the food room service room. bhej do na please <laughs> <laughs> main tumhara aadmi ko marega but khana thoda sahi mood nahi hai this is a matter of outside it. escape with the man he's like he's a very shy ye veg aadmi hai nahi main unhone kaha is a battle legends tunde se aaye Mm, cooked mm. <laughs> no that was the other story right which is like uh, have you tried zomato legends ever <laughs> no what is that <laughs> so zomato legends is that you can order food from anywhere in the country which is like all oh, these legendary restaurants yes, 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 okay. and it I've gets delivered it. to you in like 55 minutes or whatever so the story goes that in delhi one guy got some food delivered uh, using lucknow, zomato right? yeah lucknow was it lucknow yeah probably lucknow yeah. was it tundes or he ordered be, huh? tundes or something probably i don't know the specifics mm. but he filed a case saying how did this happen yeah how 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 is how they are getting it <laughs> yeah and he's like this is not it doesn't have the same packaging as the original restaurant and how yeah. how is this happening <laughs> so his issue right? was time was it like yeah, how could he he's saying it came too fast how did it come so fast and he's suspicious that it's not real so the lucknow i guess what the flight to lucknow he was still going to made it like what is his thing that his thing, I, yeah his thing is that this is not possible this is they have, he's no, but obviously they have to do it in advance no it's not yeah. like they get the order then they go to make my trip <laughs> <laughs> they have a delivery guy waiting. <laughs> like I just should luck now to this thing. It's got emergency exit seat. Chahiye usko check in. Our biryani is very good. You should. Yeah. 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 Like I, wa- I want my biryani to come on a third row aisle seat. You can make all those requests also. Because the cost of surely the cost of so when Zomato Legends came out first time, I think the Indian public thought that's what it was. Right. You know they're, they're gonna like, fly me specially. Yeah. But then I think somebody, the CEO, said, "You know the cost of that. <laughs> yeah, you realize I'm giving two hundred and fifty bucks. It's yeah. like eight grand to fly to Cal. Yeah. You know, I I love Shiraz biryani, but I mean, you yeah. know, yeah. if he's charging yeah. me three hundred bucks, there are better it. ways of than using the same concept of my relative will bring for for me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. that's exactly yeah, what. Yeah. It is. yeah. So like the thing when I go to Cal, my Bombay family, the they sweets, right? They all yeah. want. Yeah. They want whatever." Rashgulla, they want this all cookie all jar. Yeah. They want either Western confectionery or Eastern whatever. And now the, all that is available, right? Mm. But I assume that it's bought in bulk. Yeah. Right, yeah. because they're only charging you four hundred bucks. Yeah, obviously. I mean, the, I mean, the, the the you just have to think about it for eight seconds to figure out that they probably refrigerated, uh, taken yeah. on a cargo plane. Uh, they have storage facilities. They defrosted or whatever, and they send it to you. I mean, yeah. how how tough is this to? Well, I mean, like, I want to see the Indian customer who's like, fine, you pay eighteen grand <laughs> <laughs> for two no gulab jamun. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you get two days come up. Fourteen days. Entire Indigo flight of like fifty passengers just holding yeah. bananas and coming. Yeah, yeah. And you can track your order. <laughs> you can track your Swiggy guy also. <laughs> he's on, <laughs> like, he's yeah. on the plane. Track him. Indigo <laughs> five. Computer lehi le. Ha, sir, medical emergency thi. Somebody ate the biryani. Can I just not prop? काम चल 
<laughs> got a point <laughs> they don't understand um it's a great case i love it um there's another one um, which um, it's a very fun story which happened which is uh, i mean not a fun story it's a scary story did you see the mosquito tornado in uh, pune yeah, someone oh, yeah. yesterday yeah, yeah. It's crazy is that what it was it wasn't cgi or anything it's no no it's real it's like uh, and apparently they said that this happens a lot in uh, rural areas a lot so first time in a long time it's happened in an urban area i feel like i've been to music festivals in pune and i've been bitten by more mosquitoes than what i saw in that yeah, video yeah. Yeah, yeah i think it's really bad dude for me the first thing i thought i was like this is a superb adventure sports opportunity right just do the skydiving send a guy with two <laughs> mosquito rackets <laughs> 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 oh yeah dude oh, you will power all of pune with that electricity dude <laughs> <laughs> that's true actually yeah. no more load oh, shedding amazing. in summer and he'll he'll have a great like, there's two reasons why he loves it. one is the obviously the rackets but also because he's going to be flying from top so he's like i have good level of <laughs> non pollution for a change yeah. <laughs> no mosquitoes and, and no one's thought of his water electricity they've thought of yeah Hey, if the blood they've not thought of, you know, this would be the blood-based oh, electricity. Yeah, 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 yeah. No one's thought about. <laughs> Imagine Elon Musk and the blood. We haven't considered blood. Dude, this is a Red Bull event, right? This yeah. is a Red Bull event. Just skydiving into Pune and yeah, with electric yeah. rackets. Just, yeah, just, yeah. I mean, fat mosquitoes. They've had the, all the blood of owned housing societies. <laughs> you can at least. Power chain na apko on me. Power chain. He's like, "Mera hi khun hai." So, so one of the stories is that the reason is that because of rising water levels and pollution, and also there's something called a hyacinth plant, and okay. mosquitoes apparently love laying eggs in this one particular flower, which is okay. I'm like, just is this like one? Does it is there a flower of like some cultural or religious significance? I don't think so. So no. then they should just. Kill it. No. Yeah. yeah, but that's what they're doing, okay. and th- that's the solution the Pune municipality has come with. Is that they're going to do a lot of fogging, mm. and uh, they've instructed everybody to stay indoors. I'm like, go, go. I think it's <laughs> going yeah. to go and kill, break the houses of the mosquitoes, <laughs> sleep two national awards. सबसे ज़्यादा खून चूसने वाला mosquito. Just, just four empty odomoses. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Brother, your hard work is yours. <laughs> I love your hard work is yours. Um, what else is there? Yeah, this is a fun story. It's about this uh, gentleman called Santosh Bangar, who's an MLA who uh, told kids uh, that if you don't eat for two, don't eat for two days if your parents don't vote for me. Yeah, I heard about this. Yeah, and I was like, that's a great uh, tactic, which will I don't know if it'll work. Like if some politician came to my my kids and said, don't eat for two days if uh, your father doesn't vote for me. But I, yeah. But what is he offering the kids? That's the thing. He's offering. Yeah, and how also, much I had a, they play? I had a, yeah, 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 yeah. I was equally concerned. Why is he campaigning in front of children? Yeah. <laughs> Who is his campaign manager? It's like, sir, you KG pe focus. You KG pe focus karo. But my is a rural constituency. You know, you nursery me jao sir. You pehle wo bacho ko bolo, bolo ghar ja ke parents ka halat kharaab karein. Imagine you could give candy bars. Like today, I think just now the Supreme Court passed a thing that says anonymous electoral bonds are not allowed. Oh, is it finally? Oh, yeah. They've just finally. passed it. Finally, dude. Oh. So you can't uh, just, I guess, quietly donate. Wow, yeah. dude. This has so like been. It, it took like five years, I think, for for. Uh, and I suppose anyone would donate to whoever is in power, right? Yeah. Like yeah. You would just quietly give yeah. money. You know, like in America, I think you have to declare. Yeah, and you, it should be. Yeah, you should have have to declare. I mean, that's. Yeah. And I, what they do in America is whoever gives money, the person obviously goes and does a thank you. Hmm. you know to that person saying thank you for giving me yeah, these yeah, many yeah. millions of dollars like super chat <laughs> to read out their <laughs> yeah, message yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly exactly that, that, that's a joke that I was trying to write about monkey bath where i'm like monkey bath has not understood youtube properly because i would love to see somebody give a super chats to modi <laughs> <laughs> like, that yes. is already getting no <laughs> is he I, i don't think they enabled it i don't yeah. even know what a super chat is super chat is when you're doing a youtube live and you can basically give like somebody 40 rupees 300 rupees 10 dollars whatever amount if and you're they enjoying ask it. a question or leave a message yeah. in exchange for and then oh, oh wow the the etiquette is that you have to because they've taken the time to send a message and spend money you read out their message so it's yeah. like it k- makes them part of the conversation yeah Which, oh, by wow. the way if you are watching this on youtube there is a super thanks button <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> where yeah, you can might. leave your message and nobody will read it out <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> actually read it out in the next episode yeah, after yeah. that hey, all, that's I, not a bad idea all i'm saying is if zomato legends is watching biryani <laughs> from calcutta <laughs> yeah. highly Abhi welcome <laughs> yeah. dude this guy is very fascinating this this is antosh bangar i was googling uh, things about him last month he said he would hang himself if modi doesn't become pm in 2024 and then prior to that he brandished a sword at a rally and then he slapped a catering person 
uh, for giving bad food to laborers. The third one I kind like, and that's the thing with a lot of these politicians. They'll always have one thing where you're like, you know, I kind of agree yeah. with that. Like, give good food to people who are working hard. Um, no, and also <laughs> most of it is sort of you know like, I think they like can absolute terms, yeah. which is sort of I like people who take personal challenges for someone else's success. So he's saying, say. Prime Minister Modi may win, may not win. Yeah. Right? Because you don't know the Indian electorate. Anything is possible. Yeah. yeah. Right? And then he'll have to hang himself. You know what I mean? Like it's <laughs> yeah. he'll have to yeah. <laughs> so he'll have to go through the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just to create a video. Yeah, bola na go for eleven years. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come back as a monk. Yes. And all these children will be like, Uncle have chocolate bola. <laughs> Yeah, so you I have think, to do all the things. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> chocolate <laughs> okay. Yeah. Some Yeah, but it's true. Too like much. you have to give kids some offer. You have to at least say like, uh, I'll change the education policy in this area. Something you have to offer. Just, I'll give you like uh, dosa for tiffin. Just anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also, when we, uh, I also like how we exaggerate everything to a point where it doesn't make any sense. I saw the video. Hmm. He's obviously joking. <laughs> Like he's obviously like Vedala and he's doing that. He's like ah. obviously joking. And I'm like, everybody just gets worked up about everything that is a joke. No. It was obviously, I saw the video, I was like, this is, it's just the guy trying to be funny around kids and trying to be like, yeah, Veda. Like that whole joke of like, you know, when, when uh, some uh, outsider comes to your house and they are hanging out with the kids and then they do the joke, like, like, Mere ghar chaloge? Mere ghar chaloge? Uh-huh. <laughs> like, just, just stop it, dude. It's damn good. <laughs> yeah. That is, we have a lot of creepy way of speaking to yeah. children. Yeah. yeah, yeah as huh? a country, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll kidnap you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A lot of that. I've had uncles do that. Yeah. You've had uncles nep- to, to your Not nephew. to me, but to my nephew. I see, I've, I've got a 10 year old nephew, yeah. and I see lots of people yeah, saying yeah. weird. His building people also say weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. We'll take you somewhere, your parents won't find out. Oh, yeah, I've <laughs> had those uncles. Actually, yeah, now that I think, fuck, try, childhood trauma is coming Shit. right now. Like, what did they say? It's just like, yeah, we'll take you home, huh? Come, come, we'll take you home. We won't let you go for one week. <laughs> like, this is a good thing. Apparently. We'll play with you. We'll play with you. Yeah, and maybe they genuinely had like very exciting things to yeah, do at home yeah, but, but I was like no no I want here. my books are here <laughs> <laughs> my books are here <laughs> what a studious child <laughs> no no like my famous five oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying that if people have no sense of humor you can take it to its logical conclusion right you can always have some child who stops eating yeah yeah you know, and the parents are like, Aray, mera bachcha kha nahi raha hai. Aapka election chhe mahi na paat hai. <laughs> you know, like he's yeah. taken it literally. No, but he gave a timeline. He said two days don't eat. Two days don't yeah, eat. Yeah, he, he, he didn't want to cause any issues. <laughs> like a child, like you said, who's not eating for six months. <laughs> he's like, this, he's, so he's promoting intermittent fasting. <laughs> yeah. That's closely associated. Yeah. He's it's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. This is a health initiative. I like this man. Good, yeah. Uh, Santosh Bhagat. But someone man. powerful has to do that. You know, like... Right. Like say Prime Minister Modi, like I feel like there's a lot of things if you are very, very popular, yeah. you can do, <coughs> you know, uh, like the things he's doing, I assume is what the whole country is, like whatever, he's building a temple, a lot of people agree with that. But what if he had things <laughs> that only he liked? Yeah. You know, like he tells everyone, Sab log karam khelo. Like <laughs> how would, how far, like we'll do the thalis because it's COVID. Yeah. You know, the temple because, okay, a lot of mm-hmm. people are religious. But what if he, he had a thing? Yeah, like something really like. But he's a, yeah. such a powerful influencer. How yeah. many would go with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like he got into snooker khelo. How many, ka khelo is a table nahi hai. You know, like, they yeah. want yeah. to. Desh ke le. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody like that. Yeah. I think it would be a great whatever. social experiment. You know, sub yeah, log yeah. double espresso khelo. But yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 just, see, just for him to find out, like, where is the line? What is the line? Yeah, yeah. I'm very curious to know, what is the line? You know? Apna piche wala daad dal ke yaha kharo. Just try anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How far would be <laughs> like sab log bivi ka tattoo laga hua idhar aur neighbor ke bivi ka then they're like guys neighbor tak theek hai modi ji yeah ye ye bahut zyada ho gaya researcher is making notes as is i love to know ye thoda zyada ho gaya what is that line yeah, but know? also the thing is that you know in india at least six people will do it yeah, yeah. they will be 100% like no matter how absurd the request six people will do it sab log ka bachcha agar kal kal tomorrow say whatever kid is being <laughs> 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 you know, girish girish thoda extra ho gaya tha, thoda extra ho gaya tha. No, but then some people be fully on board ki mera fully, naam yeah, yeah. Pradhan Mantri ne bola tha yeah, yeah. Mera, naam girish hai. yeah 
मैंने टू वेमेन को वॉकिंग अराउंड ओ लाइक डिमोनिटाइजेशन एवरीवन रिमेंबर या हाउ फार कैन यू पुश इट इज द थिंग या पेंट योर फेस वेयर ऑबजीन एज अ हैट दिस टू एनीथिंग लाइक या बिकॉज़ यू हैव दैट मच पावर यू कैन डू व्हाटएवर यू वांट एक्चुअली या डू लाइक सम ऑफ दीस एडिट्स राइट लाइक व्हेन वी वी वर डूइंग स्टार्टअप पहले वी यूज्ड टू बी ऑलवेज लाइक स्केयर्ड डूइंग पॉलिटिकल स्टफ एंड सम ऑफ दीस एडिट्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम रील्स वे आर लाइक वेट आई can you do this like this ones where they just super impose somebody abusing um, mm. without mentioning specific names mm. and you're like uh, wait do I go all right <laughs> are you sure you should put this on <laughs> yeah um but okay there were a couple of other stories over there um this is a i don't know if this is a romantic story but this euthanasia story if you saw so in uh, in netherlands yeah where uh, the uh, former dutch pm and his wife d- died hand in hand in duo euthanasia mm. because It's euthanasia is legal thing. there yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. In Switzerland, there's a place yeah. where they inject you. I think yeah. even in in like Canada, f- which is very uh, it's very controversial, mm. because one of the things in Canada that they said was that if you're going through mental health issues, you can apply for uh, this thing, and that really r- raised a lot of ethical questions. Where you're like, mm. f- how how far does this go? Yeah. So, Manal, I think the, just the first joke that came to mind is that they went Dutch on the funeral. <laughs> 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 Save the money. <laughs> this Big half. <laughs> This Holland will never play down its half-half thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> did but you go? Did anyone they... that goes there? It's <laughs> endless. But so were both of who was the terminally ill? Person? I think both of them have crazy illnesses, and they're like both 93 or 95 years old. Oh, then do what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, who cares? Exactly. Like if they were like 45, then and yeah. one was terminally ill, and the other one was like, "Chalo, mero bhi uske saath jana hai." So that yeah. would be weird. So all of us are married now. If you're 93, I mean, I don't think either of us are going to survive. Uh, that long but if you did would you want this with your wife most of all would my wife want it yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah she may yeah, not I want it sure. no, but like from your pov her pov is we'll fa- ask her later on a separate podcast yeah. but yeah no like see if like see if she is terminally ill yeah then i am not yeah and then i'll just pretend <coughs> ki jay i'm coming and coming yeah. jay mar gaya acha chalo theek hai three years party woo <laughs> Could happen, and the partner could do the same to you also. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Then what yeah. if both of us oh, have yeah. the same plan? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! His injection is done. Yeah. <laughs> There was some film. Yeah. Matt Damon was in it. Right. Which was about shrinking yourself or something. Yeah, yeah. Honey, I shrunk the kid. That that <laughs> no. kind of film It's where uh, downsizing. Downsizing. Down. Yeah. Where the world something's happened to the world and you have to share. and then he agrees and the wife doesn't do it or something last <laughs> minute the other person jacks the partner oh wow so that can happen also you know like the partner jacks you wow nice so his wife just ditches him last minute <laughs> yeah oh my god and he shrunk Fuck. and you shrink and you go to some colony and you can live yeah, yeah, yeah. there's not enough space in the world and you can live there Good there's idea. money yeah. and then he does it yeah <laughs> i mean it. i know it's sci-fi and it's like a comedy and all but like what a complicated way but the metaphor i think is this you yeah. know like like would we what would we do yeah, yeah. I, i i wouldn't want to downsize um any any other stories that are left wait i'll just see there was the this one no the guy who scammed uh, rishabh pant oh yeah 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 rishabh pant or was it uh, dude a lot uh, rishabh pant and ms dhoni by the way yeah Uh, there's a guy. Th- there's like three people who. So there was a guy. Yeah. Now this was the story. There was a guy called Mrigank Singh. Right. Who was a former cricketer who duped Rishabh Pant and five star hotels of lakhs of rupees. So he duped Rishabh Pant of one point six three crore. Uh, and also just, I don't know how to say this, but Rishabh Pant looks like th- the guy who will get scammed. <laughs> Because yeah, he seems like, like he just has that that face to him. Like if you read a newspaper story of youths robbed of one point six three crore, like you would imagine a passport photo. <laughs> Yeah, fresh up and there, yeah. and not question. Be like, yeah, looks like this could I, happen. And every time I I see a celebrity and a d- amount, yeah, my immediate thing is much more petty, which is like, ha, huh, he'll have one point six. I only care it. Well, yeah. see, you know, Raj Kumar Rao buys a house for sixty crores or whatever. That'd be yeah. like, what? Yeah. Yeah. You know, like that's what I <laughs> like. I forget about what the thing is for. You know, yeah. Say it's this person's twelve crore house burns down. You know, like. A, You should worry mm. about the burning. I'm worried about <laughs> how does he have that? <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> but but also like you're right. Like Rishabh Pant has his face of of a very likable innocence. Yeah. Like this guy could yeah he could get yeah. yes. Like so again and just the thing. So this Mrigang Singh dude, he was a like he was posing him positioning himself as a IPL cricketer, which he's not. Yeah. He is like played for some under 19 cricket in Haryana. He's nice. 25 years old. That's all he's done. And he must have been in the same circuit somewhere in some practice match or whatever with Rishabh Pant. Then he was like, "Ki bro, my side business is, I can get expensive watches for reasonable rate." Oh wow! 
so that's what he was doing so rishabh was like chal theek hai you get me one i want to uh, improve my timing one tiso ah very nice yeah, thank you thank you <laughs> one uh, tiso watch for cheap or yeah. whatever you do but i think it would been actually hilarious if he was part of ipl because during the ipl auction this guy would get up with his own briefcase guys acha ye bumrah chodo ek cent rolex rolex anyone <laughs> 50000 going once <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 like on any big city high street you know that also i think once you become a celeb like of that level where you can't go out in public anyone coming and telling you and they can get you a thing yeah yeah, yeah. you As don't and double check also. you know because i'm sure tisco does a shop yeah. <laughs> you can go to a shop <laughs> and buy you know like <laughs> he's not heard of duty free only which is the same concept <laughs> of i will get you watches for cheap <laughs> you want whiskey you want whiskey you know it's like yeah yeah you get me yeah <laughs> like and you don't double check yeah i think once you're that famous but what a good scam to run if you can do it successfully which is that you tell them you're like bye tisco watch uh, uh, 2.5 lakh mein laega tere liye and then you go to the showroom and buy it for 1 lakh and the guy is not even check because yeah. he's like yeah, yeah i'm a celebrity he just doesn't sure. want to go yeah, because he has like, the yeah. money na yeah, yeah he's, like, like, he's just paying it. very high delivery fee but he gave, so he gave 1.6 crores in watches for yeah. watches yeah dude like so that was a story right i mean coming back to hardik pandya <laughs> he bought a 1.5 crore watch okay and it was a big controversy where people are like are aisa kaise mm-hmm. kidhar se aaya tu when you are <laughs> doing this and i'm like yeah, but that's the whole story right he's earned the money he can do whatever yeah, the fuck he wants with the watch no like then then let, let him get robbed and people then return the watch <laughs> yeah and i love this status question that comes up in india right, right. which is kidhar se aaya tu जहाँ से आया वो हमें नहीं खरीद सकता अभी खरीद सकता हूँ जस्ट लाइक वी हैव दिस थिंग लाइक इवन दो वी विल आइडलाइज पीपल वी आर लाइक बट दे शुड ऑल्सो रिमेन मिडिल क्लास नो या एवरीबडी शुड रिमेन लाइक आर सी सच इन सो हम्बल सो नाइस कार ऑल्सो फियट पालियो पे सिग्नेचर वॉज देर नारायण मूर्ति इज ऑलवेज द एग्जाम्पल बट हम्बल इन इंडिया ऑलवेज मीन्स यू नॉट चेंज योर कार like yeah. that's always the big <laughs> yeah. thing with humble anyone know new clothes in four yeah, yeah clothes yeah. also abhi tak honda city chala raha hai look at him he goes yeah, just in a reg- a simple man everyone says that in india how do you know what is he's no ordinary nothing he's like ah uh, uska but no one <laughs> imagine if he has a basement apparatus any celebrity <laughs> yeah. where they are torturing people you know he spelled cross on it he's like but what simple hai yeah. what <laughs> simple you can talk to him he's just not <laughs> yeah he's like he says hello and all you don't know what he's spelled by you you know you have no idea maybe only takes private plane and <laughs> throws money at the pilot you don't know what he yeah, spends yeah. in your mechanism he's yeah. not spending money yeah. in front of you is he's yeah. appearing like uh, humble and uh, the game is that to appear humble in india just don't go to anything above a honda city yeah, yeah. we keep it at that honda city level you're fine no but also it's like it's i find it thoroughly entertaining when comedians who are rich will talk about being middle class i'm like dude yeah. nobody's believing in this <laughs> like we know you yeah that's why for me like i want my audience also like you make some money so i can write relatable jokes for you because yeah, this yeah. middle class shit i can't do yeah. anymore and charge you more yeah, yeah charge you yeah i'll well, tell you about your problems <laughs> come now but no one uh, i've realized in comedy at least at least i mean maybe it's diff- it not even that different in america you where you couldn't do just uh, you know some rich comedian doing comedy about being rich oh they tried no there were a couple of them who tried it uh, there was like jamie fox yeah. and some two three others who tried talking about being rich and they were apparently the whole audience was alienated <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck are you talking about dude it doesn't work like, like he's like man do you remember the time when you get into the limo and the crab is not right <laughs> like what the fuck are you talking so 30 rock the show had a segment <laughs> where they go to tracy bog and alec baldwin said your material is becoming slightly un- <laughs> relatable and then you cut to the bit he's doing where it's like and you know when you have that lobster in that country club and you know your fingers get <laughs> you know, the yeah, people yeah. like what is so imagine if like some very wealthy person in india yeah, yeah. who sort of like are mera private plane fir bees mein late tha wo landi karne nahi raha and the people are sitting it doesn't work but other way it works yeah but also like like mukesh amani I, i think he did an interview which is very rare for him and he sounds very weirdly like ms dhoni for some reason i don't know why and he talked about like um, jalnas what do you do every morning when you wake up and he's like i pray that's the first thing i do and everybody's like great because you want some little something of where this person and so like when they ask them hey what's your favorite food and they say dal chawal everybody's oh, like yeah. my god yeah he loves dal you know this is so relatable and you're like dude you know that's probably a lie right yeah, <laughs> yeah. and also maybe he does like that you know yeah. but, but, maybe but the does, thing yeah. is that given who he is he probably does like dal chawal yeah i mean i don't know if he does i'm just saying as an because example because also yeah. like we've performed in their house yeah yeah 
and we have eaten michelin star dal chawal only over there yeah, so yeah. and it's good dal chawal yeah it's good dal it's like chawal. with good what people and... don't realize is that whether the simple or you'll never have their money <laughs> you know it's yeah, a, yeah. so like looking at them and saying they're like they're not like you yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because he has seven israeli bodyguards behind him <laughs> yeah. that costs a lot more yeah. than the dal chawal you know yeah. it's got guys with machine guns yeah. so that, you know that can <laughs> but, but also, we I mean, love rich people uh, We like love rich people bashing, anecdotes. but I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm like some people. Sometimes like, uh, like the Amaris were quite nice to me, and they were nice to you guys. They were yeah, nice to Atul. So Nita, nice to Nita had I've, this I've done a gig in their house. Yeah, same. We most yeah. of us have. And Nita had this very like, and you know, also I think they also at some level don't realize how rich they are. Yeah. Because she's like, "Arey beta, so nice. Just, just come, come, come over any time." <laughs> She said, "Come over." I was like, "Aunty, you've you seen your security." Yeah, yeah. yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. And don't like, "Aunty, you've seen your security." Yeah, yeah. आंटी आंटी कम डाउन आंटी आंटी आकाश आएगा अच्छा आकाश जियो का केबल लेकर रहा हूं राइट डू पता है लाइक आई मीन दैट्स इमेजिन द इक्विवेलेंट फॉर आकाश अंबानी एंड लाइक फॉर प्लेइंग विद किड्स राइट व्हाई इज लाइक भाई ग्राउंड खरीदेगा कंप्लीट डिफरेंट ही इज बिजी टुडे इज बिजी टुडे ही कांट कम टुडे आंटी टेल हिम आई एम गोइंग हां ही वेटेड दैट्स व्हाई व्हाट आईपीएल टीम नोबडी प्लेड विद हिम व्हेन ही वाज यंग But rich people in India, I'm saying, no matter how rich you are, you'll still have the same problems everybody else. You know, it's yeah. not like how much quicker do you think their money will get to the airport? The, you still have to leave yeah. the house and go onto the same road, na? Yeah. But you have triple the security, na? Who will be like, hey, hey, hato, hato, hey? But also, they have yeah. helicopter, no? Oh, But even helicopter. to get to the helicopter, they have to go to Mahalakshmi Racecourse. Yeah. And from Mahalakshmi Racecourse, the, uh, the helicopter will maximum. So the effort of going here and then will save you maximum five minutes. Yeah. So yeah, you're right. It's the same traffic, It's, and you can't even. हट रहे हट रहे आई गारंटी यू दिन सिटिंग एंड हैविंग द सेम कॉन्वर्सेशन वी वर हैविंग फॉर द पॉडकास्ट बॉम्बे लेट्स गो टू गोवा रेंट अ थ्री बेडरूम विल जस्ट लिव देयर यू नो लाइक एवरीवन्स हैविंग द सेम कॉन्वर्सेशन या बट द बेडरूम इज स्लाइटली बिगर वी विल गेट अ बिगर प्लेस या लेट्स गो बाय पंजिम या डू डू लाइक इट्स लाइक समटाइम्स दे हैव दिस दीस रिव्यूज ऑफ हाउ मच इन्फ्लुएंसर्स अर्न एंड द कमेंट्स आर ऑलवेज लाइक वी मेड दीस पीपल Don't consume their content. They become too rich. I'm like, what do you want from people? Do you want somebody who's successful to never make it? No, so that's what they. And yeah. I've I've actually had like, <clears throat> and it was a very real comment where somebody yeah. put on my videos recently, where it's like, uh, I like Azim's comedy so much that I literally selfishly gatekeep his content and don't share it with people because I don't want him <laughs> to become famous and become shit. Wow. I was like, wow, that is a problem to have. <laughs> Yeah, yeah the, the audience are absolutely crazy. Like, I did some shows at NCP. One guy wrote, "I was going to fly there to see you specifically, but I changed my mind." <laughs> well, why tell us? <laughs> like, I had a good thought, but didn't yes, do it. Yeah. I was going to fly to Bombay to see <laughs> you. Audience yeah. legends. <laughs> then, I, then I said. And imagine if we get this. What must like Bollywood people be getting? Because yeah, I don't think the Bollywood craziness they deal with, but must they must not be reading level. only. You know, like we get like five, seven messages in a day. I was like, okay, you can read that, process that. Where are you going to sit and filter out the? I don't think they are even looking at their own accounts beyond a certain following threshold. Like beyond, I think like two, three million. I don't think you can even look at your own account. Yeah, but also like the thing is that they uh, like. I mean, to talk about how you get attention, I was just. I mean, it's disconnected from what you said, but. Like I, I was outside Salman's house this, a few <coughs> years back. In fact, there was this lady, and like her chappals had withered and all that, and she was holding this bouquet of roses that had wilted. Hmm. And I'm like, "Ab, kya, kya kar rahe hain? Matlab yahan par kya?" And she's like, "Main chhe din chal ke aayi Salman sir se milne." Oh wow! And I was like, "But you could have scammed it. Nobody's going to double check your <laughs> yeah, journey. No, no, sure. <laughs> you could just be like." Hey. And then they, I bet they have lot one guy who just gives that information. Yeah, yeah. And he like. Only accepts the worst of it. Yeah. एक आदमी का सर वो दो पैर कट गए. नहीं और there's a guy who's setting the expectation कि नहीं minimum पांच दिन तो चलना पड़ता है नहीं तो भाई मिलता ही नहीं है. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's the guy who's spreading the rumors. इसको देखो. ये चार दिन चल के आए. दो दिन बिठा. एक लड़की टार्जन रोप से swing करके आई तीन किलोमीटर तो तभी भाई मिले भाई नहीं मिला. Just Salman. पीछे देखो. एक आदमी अपने आप को जला दिया. उसको भी नहीं घुसने दिया. I like the idea of the distance travel. It's like Salman Khan walkathon is like nine days long and the mirror is. You get one selfie with Salman. That's yeah. it. Yeah. 
I mean, but you have to do stuff. He's yeah. not going to see you. Yeah, you know, you not. just have to. And others have done better. That's what you got to know. Dude, yeah. I had I had one guy. I was doing a show in Hyderabad, and one guy said, "Bro, I flew down only for you." I was like, "Oh, thanks, man. That's amazing." And he said, "No, I mean, I was supposed to fly tomorrow, but I flew early. I'm like, uh-huh. this, is, this is a little less <laughs> convincing. <laughs> three grand <laughs> job on Indigo, yeah. which is fair. I mean, three grand for anyone spending on me. Yeah, is, I, 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 I thought it's I thought nice. was a sweet guy. Uh, anyway, we've had a fun time talking about anything we've missed out. We pretty much there was that, there was one I huh. think cricket one which was that Yashasvi Jaiswal. Oh yeah, the Pani Puri story. So so the yeah. legendary story, which I think fits in quite well to yeah, what yeah. we're talking about yeah, here, yeah. where they're like, so I think his coach. First of all, he has a coach, the Yashasvi Jaiswal, who's uh, the most best named motivational coach <laughs> right. that you could have because his name was <laughs> Jwala Singh. Oh wow, dude! Which is the most Jwala yeah. possible. Uh, and uh, yeah so also like the, he came out and said ki no no uh, yashashvi like a lot of people have this thing that uh, yashashvi fuck is a mouthful to say jaiswal i will call him yeah. jaiswal uh, jaiswal has this thing of uh, people said that his father was a pani puri seller yeah. uh, and you know he's really struggled a lot and this guy is like no no there no struggle he was living with me only for four years <laughs> so he's not seen any struggle aisa kuch mat bolo yeah. but i would say that is the wrong approach because if there is any struggle you should fully double down on that struggle yeah, right yeah. make up struggle manufacture struggle yeah. but that happens i enjoy that like the wealthier you get in india the more famous the poorer you get yeah you know so i'm sh- like if you read biographies of these guys yeah. it's almost like that monty python sketch where he's got a sketch you know he's like oh you know living without money would be a luxury yeah you know we were living we were totally naked yeah. <laughs> and the second guy is naked would have been a luxury i was dead <laughs> Yeah, like yeah. they so should have make up your. St- yeah, like that pani puri seller also should have been like they should have been like he was the nicest pani puri guy ever. मतलब yeah. he had no money, still he would give extra puri to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the Uska number of. उसका stall भी नहीं था सर. You know, like. वो हाथ में पानी पकड़ के बनाता था ऐसा. The only the number of runs that uh, Jaiswal would make in a day, same number of puris he would give for free in a yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Two hundred and thirty. People like dude, ये बहुत ज़्यादा हो गया. <laughs> and then he just push it, right? Pads ka paisa nahi tha, so you know, yeah. hum log collect karke the next guy would say, "Hum pads. stitched our own pads, <laughs> made of gold gappas." Next guy would say, "Gold gappa would have been a luxury." Yeah. <laughs> I, I played without pads. Yeah. <laughs> like I got hit, I played without knees. Two admi mere ro pakad da tha aur main batting karta tha. <laughs> and by the way, for Indian cricket fans, we are just like uh, conjecturing on how worse we could make the situation. We are not uh, like in any shape or form yes. saying that his struggle was any less. Before you yeah. start going crazy, and yeah, and not yeah. even it's not But cricket related. I yeah, think the just, moment <laughs> someone gets famous in India, yeah. they make up stories about how poor they were. Yeah, yeah. no, even I, mean, I came from struggle, but. Even I try to create that. Yeah. I also feel like I came from some struggle. Like yeah. the like the the more followers I increase, I was like, no, I should be like I I used to live on the roads. So I should yeah. create this <laughs> yeah. narrative now. No, like Rinku Singh, it was, a, uh, it was one of the best. Uh, the thing, his story was that his dad was uh, used to uh, deliver uh, gas to people. The L, what is it? LPG. LPG. LPG yeah. used to del- deliver like, deliver gas and used to help him. Hmm. So recently, a video came out say, uh, saying his dad is still doing it. Okay. I'm like so. What do you, what do you let him do it? No, that's uh, his job. He's no, his I mean, job. He likes doing his job. Yeah. What do you want him to do? Like, and also, yeah. he's, he knows that cricket is an uncertain career. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I've got a stable income. Yeah. I'm not going to ruin that because someone got famous for a bit. No, but sometimes, like, I feel pe- we we literally started infringing on human beings, like as as content. There's a guy who recorded a video where some I think a guy was oddly enough selling him pan- pani puri only, and he's like, "Arey, tu Rinku Singh jaisa dikhta hai. Bol na, idhar dekhna." And the guy's just like. I don't like Rinku Singh. Rinku Singh, like just leave him alone, dude. Not every Pani Puri seller <laughs> yeah. become a cricketer, yeah. no? Yeah. Like just But also, like if he looks like somebody, just leave him alone. No, stop yeah. irritating the guy. Like just go home. <laughs> yeah, and also, I think people forget that money is not everything. Like, sure, you'll have a cricketer. For, first of all, you are not making the money directly. Like your son is making the money. You yeah. a there's no guarantee that son and father have good relationship. Yeah. B also, as father, it's very weird to be like, "Beta, thoda, mere ko huh. Rolls Royce khareedne ka hai, thoda ek teen crore milega kya?" You huh. can't have that. So obviously, you would keep your job, right? Yeah. And I, I you enjoy fill your it. time with something. Yeah, and I, again, fill your time. Like you're just going to just stop everything yeah. you do. And also, I, I'm sure these people are smart enough to know that he's built a career. <coughs> over, what, his son today he might get hit in the head and not be a cricketer. Yeah. He's like, but I built my whole life doing yeah. this gas yeah. thing. Yeah. These are my relationships. Yeah. You know, like I enjoy. There's got to be yeah. one person in the world who's like, oh, gas wala hai na. Huh. <laughs> oh, gas wala hai na. Hmm. Are, are Rinku se. का बाप है वो गैस बट फिर भी इतना हम्बल है ऐसा लगता ही नहीं क्रिकेटर का बाप 
<laughs> he's got his own assets yeah. he doesn't need it sir do but like some of these stories especially with the ipl that you hear you're like my god do like the, the people like especially with the ipl is like the, some of the stories are like you're like wow when somebody now tells me they're like i'm in a building and i play professional cricket i'm like you've done nothing <laughs> <laughs> you've struggled not at all yeah but um, anyway this has been a it's a been a fun uh, episode of three drinks later uh, we got to end uh, by telling people subscribe to the channel check out things and anything to plug anything coming uh, up yes i have uh, depending on when this is going out but uh, march 23rd i am taping my stand up special in bandra mumbai at rang mandir uh, oh, we wow. have about half the tickets left for that and if you're in australia i'm doing the melbourne comedy festival in april also doing a show in sydney and one in auckland all in april you can follow me on social media and get all the details there. we will put uh, links in the uh, description for everybody and yes anubhav anything coming up yeah i'm doing a couple of small shows i'm doing a show in thane uh, i don't know when this goes out on the this second is probably in 3 days by the way 3 oh, days sweet. second yeah. of march and in calcutta at retired comedy club 9th of march if that place is still around i'll find out <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. This is such a Calcutta thing. We yeah. show up and like it's yeah. bad. Yeah, club is not there. It's called retired. <laughs> Who are you? Fucking boy. This Anshuman Gaikwad has come. <laughs> He's suddenly a comedian now. He wants to do. It's like a full arc we did eventually, man. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, I go on tour in the UK, uh, starting the fifty, the seventeenth of May for a month. I'm in different nice. cities. Yeah. Um, and then ending in London for a few days. So. Oh. Awesome check out Azim and Anuva both very very fun to watch on stage. I have a show in Jakarta on 23rd first time. Uh, unfortunately Sapan Varma will also be there with me. Mm-hmm. Uh, but very should sad. be fun. And uh, we're doing uh, what else am I doing? I'm doing Hong Kong on uh, March 22nd 23rd. Uh, so please come and spread the word. I think there are early bird tickets around so all the Sindhis out there can come for that. And I'm doing Bangalore, Delhi and Hyderabad in March. The tickets will be out in the ticket link below. And uh, keep watching and uh, thanks a lot Azeem and uh, Anubhav for your esteemed time. Uh, two luminaries of Indian luminaries. comedy yep. have uh, illuminated all over this. Uh, thanks a lot for all of you people watching. Love you all. Marry me. Goodbye. Done, friends. We did it.